Uh, 514 on this Monday morning, uh, some 40s kind of scattered through. Uh, a lot of us in the lower 50s, though, Brooksville and Wesley Chapel and Brandon and Bradenton, Sarasota, all in the lower 50s. And, of course, we got a few 40s here and there. So grab your jackets. 40s across I-10. It's in the 60s from Miami into the Keys. Not too bad. It's just a little coolish around the entire state here first thing this Monday. We're about 10 to 13 degrees colder than we were yesterday morning, though. So mind yourself there because you're going to walk out the door and go, oh, yeah. So just grab your jackets. Winds are out of the east right now. They're going to shift to more of the southeast for later today. Today will be a breezy day, first and foremost. So it will be breezy. The clouds, you can see them all just funneling our way. So a lot of cloud cover and maybe a quick shower later today, about a 30 to 40% chance. That's not a big deal. Our main rain comes tomorrow. So we'll set it up for you. There's your one or two little tiny showers early this afternoon. Again, not a big deal. Tomorrow morning, we're fine. Then around lunchtime, we're going to keep an eye on this, this huge line of rain and thunderstorms. I would think by around lunchtime tomorrow, they'll probably have some type of watch out, whether it's a severe thunderstorm watch or more likely a tornado watch for parts of the state. So just have your Sky Tower radar apps tomorrow on with the notifications on just in case we get into a severe weather setup and you're out and about. That gives you a chance to kind of know what's going on if you're not by your television. By four o'clock, line of rain and storms coming through and then it just pushes to the south and the east. And then Wednesday might be one of the nicest days of the week, even though we're going to have a bunch of cloud cover streaming through again. Slight risk for severe storms in the Tampa area, just to the north of us in Citrus County, though, it's an enhanced risk. So if you're looking at the levels here, we're getting closer to the second half of that level of the severity risk, if you will. And that just really means damaging wind gusts will be our primary threat tomorrow. That's what I think the primary threat's going to be. However, there will be one or two isolated tornadoes around tomorrow afternoon around the state okay and of course we're just gonna have to keep a real close eye as to how all of this develops but it won't be until the afternoon hours tomorrow look at the wind gusts tomorrow morning in the 50s in the panhandle 40s for us and as this line of rain comes through and storms in the afternoon we're probably going to get wind gusts at least in the upper 40s, if not the lower 50s. Think about that for a second. That's some pretty hefty wind tomorrow, so I want you to understand that. And with all that wind pouring on shore, we're going to have the potential for significant coastal flooding, about two to three feet coming on shore tomorrow, mainly as that squall line pushes in as well. So a lot of weather tomorrow, but it's all going to be primarily in the afternoon for you, okay? Today, though, mostly cloudy, breezy, quick shower. Shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to roll it up to about 69 or 70 degrees. 64 tonight, turning windy. And then tomorrow, of course, windy with the storms in the afternoon, clearing out Tuesday night. Wednesday looks great. Thursday's decent. And then Friday night, rain moves back in going into Saturday morning.